Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to another speed test video. Today I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 7, so yes, the discontinued Samsung Galaxy Note 7 and the Google Pixel XL. So let's start on to the left there, the Samsung Galaxy Note 7, we have a Snapdragon 8, 24 gigs of RAM and a 5.7 inch screen with a Quad HD resolution. On to the Google Pixel, we have a Snapdragon 8, 21, so maybe a better processor. 4 gigs of RAM and a 5.5 inch screen with the Quad HD resolution as well. Let's start with some uh, scores for the Antutu benchmark. So on the Antutu benchmark we get a score of about 142,000 onto the Note 7 and onto the Pixel XL we get a score of about 139,000. So the scores are rather similar. If we look at that uh, 3D score it's about the same, the UX uh, it's also about the same. But uh, overall the Note 7 scores slightly higher. So now moving to the Geekbench 4. So on the Geekbench 4 uh, the Note 7 gets a multi-core score of about 3950 and the Google Pixel XL gets about 4145. So the score is a bit higher uh, from uh, yesterday's score onto the Google Pixel XL. For the single core score the Note 7 uh, scores slightly higher than the Google Pixel SL. So that's it for the benchmark results. Now let's start with a fingerprint scanner test. So I'm gonna put a mirror here, we'll uh, check out and see which one uh, turns on the screen faster. Okay, so let's start this with the screens off. First of all I'm gonna do the test and then uh, I'll uh, do it in slow motion so we can see better what happened. So I'm gonna try to touch both sensors in the exact same time. So I'm gonna slow this down so we can all see what happened. And now let's try one with the screens on on both devices. So the screens are on and I'm just gonna touch the sensors. So let's slow that down and watch it uh, better. Alright, so that's what we get for um, the fingerprint scanner. Now I have a whole bunch of apps in here. I'm gonna show you that all the apps uh, are closed from the background. So I'll close everything from the background on both devices. And I'm gonna start by opening uh, every single app from here. So let's start with this game. So I think it started a bit faster onto the pixel, but I'll give it a second uh, for the game to actually start up so I don't have the same thing happening from yesterday. So I think that the Note 7 started first, so let's uh, leave that uh, in the background on both devices. The next one is the speed test, so this I'm actually just gonna show you the speeds that I got uh, earlier today. So both uh, devices are connected onto the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network, so the Pixel XL uh, got better speeds uh, for download every single time. So we'll leave this in the background. The next one is gonna be Facebook. So let's open Facebook in the same time. So I guess that one started a bit uh, faster. But uh, let me lock the screens so they don't actually spin around. Okay. So the next one is going to be a GPS test. Let's see which one connects to the GPS faster. So I think, oh my, that was like a second. So the Pixel definitely connected to the GPS much faster and we'll leave those running in the background. The next one is gonna be the Google Play Store. So even though that one started the game, uh, the Play Store faster, I think that one loaded uh, a bit faster. The next one is gonna be Chrome. So let's open Chrome, so the same uh, time. Let's open a website here uh, first. So let's try Globe and Mail. And now let's actually open the website. So this one loaded a bit faster. But uh, let's open the same article. So this one here on both. And the pixel definitely loaded uh, a bit faster. So we'll leave this in the background as well. The next one is going to be Google Play Music. So in about the same time, but this one loaded uh, much faster. 
but maybe that's because that one uh, had that subscription thing. So uh, the next one is gonna be this game, uh, something racing. So it definitely started a bit faster onto this one. So we'll leave those in the background as well. The next one is gonna be Temple Run. So again on the pixel just a bit faster. So they both kind of started the, the game at the same time. So we'll leave that in the background as well. Now let's um, try opening the camera, but I'm gonna have to do this separate and then I'll put them together uh, uh, while editing the video. So with the screen off, I'm just gonna double tap this. So that's how long it took for uh, the camera. And let's continue with Twitter, for example. This one uh, started the, a bit faster, so we'll leave that one in the background as well. The next one is going to be Instagram. So in about the same time, let me open my account here and uh, let me open the picture. So very, very quick on both of them. And the last one is going to be the YouTube app. So even though we don't have the exact same uh, videos, let's try to find the exact same one. And uh, let's open this one, for example. So it did start a bit faster onto the pixel. So now everything is open in the background. Now let's see what happens with those apps in the background. So let's uh, go all the way to FIFA 16. So the Note 7 actually had to reload the FIFA 16. So the RAM management on the Note 7 not uh, the best. Okay, let's... Uh, unfortunately FIFA 16 has stopped, excellent. So let's move back. Even though I need this the other way, but uh, I guess this will do. So let's go back to the speed test. Ah, uh, no, I think I just closed something. So I closed one of them uh, from this one. So we'll open the speed test. So that one was uh, still running in the background. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, and I wonder which one I closed earlier so I can close it on this one as well. So let me just check uh, what I closed. I guess I closed Instagram. So we'll uh, kill Instagram for this one as well. All right. So. We are uh, gonna open Facebook next. So I think both of them had to reload, uh, if I'm correct. The next one, let's see what else we have. Do we have the GPS test? Let's see what happens with that. So again, the Note 7 kind of had to reload there for uh, a second. Let's uh, see what else we have here. We have the Play Store. So the Play Store is open for both of them. Let's see what else we have. We have Chrome, so let's open Chrome again. And again, the Note 7 had to reload uh, that. So that's uh, quite a shame. And let's see what else we have. The Play Music. And again, the Note 7 reloads that one as well. Okay, so now we have this one. This one was open in the background for both. And again, now uh, it's upside down. And we have Temple Run on both of them. So this one was still open in the background on both devices. And I think we have one or two more. I have uh, Twitter right here. So this one was uh, still open. What else do we have? And the YouTube app. Let's try the YouTube app. So this was uh, so even though I didn't press in the same time, none of them had to reload that. So that's what we get between a Note 7 and the Google Pixel uh, XL. 
So if you do did like this uh, video, please press that uh, like button. If you do have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave the comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.